Most students start school fresh off summer vacation. In Alyssa Bosman's case, she was barely out of the ICU to say the 21-year-old University of South Dakota student was determined to start her senior year on time is an understatement. Kevin Lance Brady Mallory takes you to Vermillion to show you her strength and determination. With all these steps, it'd be easy just to take an elevator. But Alyssa Bosman is ready for the climb. I'm just so grateful that I can be here, walk up the stairs and go to class. This is Bossman's first time on USD's campus after an abrupt end last semester. Between her enthusiasm to be back, tackling her schoolwork and saying hi to friends, you wouldn't even notice unless you saw her scar. It's kind of scabby. She had brain surgery. So yeah, it's kind of gross. Two weeks ago. I didn't even have time to be scared. Months of headaches got worse. Earlier this month, the searing pain came every single day. They want to go away until I threw up. And then I'd throw up and the, it would hurt so bad, I would have to like squeeze my neck and hold my head and I would just like cry because the pain was so bad. At one point, it was hard to even get out of a car. I couldn't walk. And I was like, Jackie, like that's my sister. I was like, can you come hold me for a second? And she literally just like had to hold me up. Bosman found out she had a brain tumor on a Monday. On Tuesday, surgeons removed it. Thankfully, it wasn't cancer. By that Wednesday, she had just one week to get out of the ICU so she could start her senior year of college on time. Brain surgery didn't make Bossman any less stubborn or hard-headed. My mom didn't exactly want me to come back right away, but she knew I wasn't going to not, so <laughs> she just dealt with it. With any hurdle, it's always easy to just give up, whether it's college, brain surgery, or just tough times. Bossman hopes her stories will help others face their hill and just keep going. Hey, I've actually got a lot of positive responses like that, which makes me feel really good because it like was so abrupt and sudden for me. I didn't have time to be sad, like especially with all the love that I got from all my family and friends. In Vermilion, Brady Mallory, Kelloland News. Bosman says other than some light sensitivity, she's feeling good after her surgery. She is so grateful for her good outcome that she went to church right after she got out of the ICU.